Hello guys, welcome back. So Thornton here. This is the Daily Grind. This is Saint Seiya Awakening. The Android game for the Knights of the Zodiac. I'm going to make a video today about leveling up your characters. Um, some people believe that it's very difficult to gather the materials required. Now, uh, this is rebirth for the characters. Uh, in this game, uh, they called uh, reincarnation or rebirth the act of bringing your character from two stars which every every character starts at two stars rank like this and you follow a certain process to bring them to maximum level now rank limits the maximum level of your character and it's not tied to account level you can have if you gather the resources you could have a level 10 account with a level 80 character as an example uh, there's a limit I think you have to be level 20 before you are able to bring your characters to four stars but the principle is the same the character levels are not tied to your account level like in many other games where you reach your top end then you have to level up the account before you can keep working on your characters now i've already brought uh, aphrodite to level 40 and three stars he started as a rank 2 character like for example yoga let's see if my experience points are enough this is the basic process you, you get your character at two stars level one and then you use the experience bottles this is way faster than grinding uh, playing the story mode or the material events the ancient ruins dimensional space and titan shrine it's way too slow it's better to use the experience bubbles and now when you reach your maximum level for your rank that's level 20 for rank 2 you come to this screen rebirth and then you have to sacrifice a certain number of cards that are the same rank the cheapest way to go into rank 3 is to use two C cards and you pay for your rebirth and then you get a rank 3 character now I don't have the experience bottles to bring him to 40 right now but now the requirement is three cards that have three stars all right so let's go back to work on the character I actually want to rebirth and that's Aphrodite. Now I have prepared beforehand these books, the growth tomes. You convert these using the same process which, which is cheaper. You could work with C cards to bring them to rank 3 but it's better to use the books because they consume less experience okay so now my book is ready and I'm going to rebirth Aphrodite <laughs> and I now forgot something uh, 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 uh. Certain cards from the normal summons spawn as 3 or rank 3 or rank 4. In this case, it was a black swan, and I'm going to use that to sacrifice because I, it spawned when I summoned. It spawned as a 3 star, so I'm going to use that now, and I'm going and this. 
uh, other growth thumb uh, I got him from material quests uh, when you finish certain points of the storyline you get rewards of this kind so keep an eye out for those because it's going to save you a lot of materials so now that I have my three rank three cards I just pay the fee and I have a rank four character and when you reach rank four that allows the character to grow up to level 60 and afterwards you have to sacrifice three rank four cards which are very very rare so you're going to have to use growth tomes to do that and rank five unlocks the maximum level of 70 and then when you bring your character to 70 you can rebirth to rank six six stars and then at that rebirth you can grow your character to level 80 in the future uh, i already have my seven cents for aphrodite for example uh, in the future there is going to be a feature called eight cents and it's going to show around here and that will allow you to grow your characters even more what's the advantage of growing to four stars as soon as possible you can start adding cosmos for your character right now it's not ideal this is not an ideal build for aphrodite but it's uh, what i have pretty much so let's go with this well the cosmos are adequate it's just the rank that it's not not very useful right now uh, let me see if I can upgrade this well, I'm going to show you that in another video just to keep this simple well that's the mechanics and then you have to repeat this all over again when you want to bring your character to five star um, I have been playing for a week now and I have noticed uh, I mentioned in some of the other videos that the actual game build is the latest patch for the Chinese version so there is a lot of stuff that it's showing on the screens but it's not actually active but I was surprised today because as one of my rewards I got this let me take this away from there uh, this cosmos is rank SS this wasn't in the beginning in the Chinese version it was added in the fourth month more or less when people had already maxed out their characters and, and things like that uh, people already had level 80 characters six stars maxed uh, cosmos rank S and stuff like that so so they added another level to the cosmos and now we have that available these drop from chests not from not only from chests that you buy but also from chests that you get from quest like for example later on this thing the daily bounty you have to be level 24 to access this um, once you start uh, defeating these things often enough you're going to start getting rank SS Cosmos from here so this is going to be your main source of those Cosmos they are random completely but fortunately uh, the Cosmos selection in this game right now it's very very slim so you have a pretty good chance of getting some actually useful cosmos and that's how you level up your character uh, leave your comments below subscribe to the channel help this channel grow i'm going to be uh, uploading gameplay from the chinese version because i have uh, higher level characters there so if you want to to test a particular team build that you have 
I'm going to be using the Chinese version just for the testing if you want to request a, a particular uh, performance video of, of characters you have to see how they work together in real time I can do that because uh, well the um, the PvP balance in both versions is the same so outside of the text that it's in kanji in Chinese kanji uh, the game is exactly the same I can just uh, add Cosmos from this version to the Chinese one to give you a, a, a preview of what the theme is going to be like so that said thanks for your time that's all for today so we'll see you again the next time in the meantime keep grinding on